Hi guys and welcome, I'm Smashy and I got another build for you. It's Ice Cream Shop. You guys wanted it? Here it is. Okay, so here I'm going to be building a stop sign basically. They're all turned about three clicks so you can place items in all these if you wanted to. You can make a door out of any of them. So just make an optagon shape here and get them as close to perfect as you can and it will look pretty good. That first brick I laid was just that's how far away I wanted it from the street. So don't worry about that. I did delete it. I ended up having to make it closer to my road than I really wanted to. I think it looks okay. Hopefully nobody will notice that this building is a little closer to the street than all the rest. It's not bad. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. Nobody would know. <laughs> it's good. Okay. So now you got your op gun shape. I was going to throw some barriers on top of it. This is on larger good sizes, these barriers. Just bring them straight up to the top. If you'd be so kind. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, pretty please. And if you guys want to uh, help us out directly, you could join as a member of Joy Smashy YouTube. Get some cool perks. It's the join button down by the subscribe button. Here I'm just putting blocks all the way around. I did do a little bit of a lip on most of them. Some of them, you know, they're not going to be perfect just because this is all done by eye on small graded size. So just work it the best you can, get those all the way around. Then the second layer, here I'm playing with it a lot and trying to figure out what to do. I ended up going with three bricks on each one of these. So you just do three bricks for each side. Again, these are on small grid size. This is going to be the, the hardest part of the build. But it ain't, it ain't too hard. Just take you some time. Get them all in there. And we're going to use some barriers, bring those all the way around again. You can use the bottom barriers if you want to, like I just did, because we ended up deleting all of them anyway. And here I was tired of doing small grid size, so I did the large grid size. And I just did this um, two bricks on each side all the way around. go just like that and bring the barrier up and here I'm going to be putting in some of those seats I don't know what you call them those seats just do two of each I'm trying to cover up the hole and um, I'm making the cherry on top basically the cherry top and I put these on there on large grid size, the sofas, the benches, uh, whatever these red things are called in the seat section. <laughs> and you just don't want anything to show. No caps in there. So I just did do uh, one space in on each of these and it worked out pretty good. So I just clicked it in one space on large grid size and it worked pretty good. On these sideways, the ankle ones that aren't, you gotta you can 
go up and down on large grid sides, then the side by side is just it's kind of like small grid size. You just can play with it. There we go. And here's where I delete all those barriers. work my way back up to the top and I'm gonna stick me the cherry stem up here just a cheap lamp floor lamp and I paint it black that's done I'm just doing some of the circle discs the small ones it's gonna be like chocolate chips on my ice cream shop Believe it or not, this is the second time I built this. The first time I built it, I got completely done, done building it. I did the video. I was going to go finish the build, you know, just take a couple pictures and do a walkthrough. I was going to do the inside. I did all the outside, I painted it and everything, and then I was going to do the inside. I came back and everything was gone. My money was gone, the building was gone, the pets that I bought was gone, my Robux was gone, the server didn't save, so I lost everything. So here I'm doing it again. Okay, on these doors. Um, I put a floor behind it and then I remove the barrier and then I put the floor where the barrier was so just like this put two floors remove the barrier and then you basically just got to move that floor to make it face outward so you can put stuff on it okay we're just making a door frame Basically, this is the same thing as I did for the windows. Just two floors, and then remove the barrier, and then that first floor, you want to move it and place it again. So that way, if you let go of a brick, you can get it again. Now I got my door, two windows. Time to build the little counter I think I just threw three bricks in there both of those Here goes the decorations on the inside. I didn't do much, just a, just a few small ones. I did a couple counters. Try to make the doors on the outside line up. So that way it just look like two little doors. That. Now I'm using these lamps and uh, this is going to be like ice cream bowls, I'm going to make some ice cream bowls. Grab a barrier and you can move the barrier up to where you like it and then put your trees in there. Paint it 
green and whatever color you would like. Some chocolate, some mint, some strawberry, some vanilla, some more vanilla. Just kind of mix them up, making it look pretty good. I can see the whites down at the bottom still, so I move it down a little bit and I make the tree a little sh uh, shorter. And I throw some right there in the front of the bowl so that I can't see the lights. And it kind of adds to the, the ice cream bowl, giving a little extra or something. I liked it. I like it. Here we go. Ice cream bowls. Could throw a couple bottles in there, make some little cherries on top of those. I didn't think about that until just now when I'm watching the video. So these are all underscore and you minus one underscore. So it'll be a total of 15 underscore altogether. And basically any pattern you want would look cool as long as it's like X's, kind of like a, like a waffle cone. I liked it better on my first one. I don't remember how I did it. So the second one, I just played with it a bunch and I figured out well. It looks, looks too perfect this way. The first one Joy actually did and it didn't. It wasn't as perfect as mine. I liked it better. I live with it. It's good. Throw some ice cream signs on there. And that's your ice cream shop complete. Yeah. Alrighty. Next we'll do a walkthrough. Alright, so it's walkthrough time. Let's go into the ice cream shop. Here it is. Go through the door. Bam. Through a couple fridges in here. Ice cream is on top of the shelf. I did a couple shelves with the ice creams. And then I just did um, a couple bricks. This is actually bricks here by the house. Just bricks and I used the brick table. Okay, a couple cash registers. And I did throw some counters in here. Um, sideways fridge just because it looks kind of like a deep freezer. So I kind of wanted to do that. Not much to it. The ceiling it just goes all the way up. <laughs> I didn't do nothing to the ceiling. I kind of like it. It looks cute. From the inside. And to the outside here. There you go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to help us out directly, and join our membership. Thank you so much. Until next time, Smashy out.